Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Sparrow's Jenny and this should be the last video for now in the Kill the Servers event for Gwent the Witcher card game. The last deck we're gonna play is, and the one that we have never played before yet, is the Skellige deck. Once again, it's a deck that I've never played before and I'm warning you so that you don't just rant at me. Oh, we're gonna also play against the Skellige deck, so there's no better match to learn how to play this deck. So the ability is calling out two warriors, which are both combined 14 points of strength. Each of them seven, that is. Choose a bronze unit from your graveyard and play it. Mm. Okay. Oh, prize winning cow. Let's see, if we keep these two, then we'll be able to pick them both from the graveyard. This will boost the lane already. Can it boost twice with the same effect? I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm gonna pull this one out, and we'll go like this. Let's see how things turn out. Okay, I really like this card as well. Draw a card from the opponent's graveyard. So, uh, we'll play it later on, when he has we some cards in there. The Queen of okay, he's gonna discard two cards from his hand. Let's see. The Skellige deck seems to be a deck that really shines at the end of the rounds rather than the start because it has a lot of cards once again uh, that just come from the graveyard okay so let's not do that mm, let's not do that either i guess i'm gonna start with this one which is a really strong card but hey uh, i can't really remember what is a chort to be honest i think it's a monster's card like a really um, really disgusting card. It gets into a short when it's destroyed, so it's not gonna happen yet. It's really, really hard to play this deck we serve her from the start because, and and well, that was Bow a really bad pick, wasn't it? Nothing like some Hold up a second. And How the heck? Did that guy had this card in the graveyard? All right, return this unit to your hand when you lose a round. So let's play it, right? There's really no point in keeping it. It's just one of those cards that you play if you don't have any other idea. But I just don't get how this guy had this in his graveyard. I mean, he has none over there now. I have none either. Maybe if I just play this card, I'll be able to play from my deck itself, not only the graveyard. I don't know. He played Siri as well. He should know how to play Skellige. Um, at least it looks like it. So, um, let's see. I'm going to destroy that card by playing the Scorch. But he's going to play it again, I believe. Because he must have another card to pick up cards from the graveyard. Let's see. If I scorch that card, I'll be able to pick it up from his graveyard. With, let's see, this one. Which could be a good pick. Now he has one card there. Once again, I'm confused. I don't know why did he have that card there. I also have one now. Hold up. Okay, yeah, it's the scorch. So what I'll do now is... This? Oh, hold up. This has to end on his melee lane. Okay, that's interesting. For the lack of a better idea, let's just play this and get the win. By two points. Okay, we're still learning how to play the Skellige. We got the first round, but I think he knows what he's doing. And will I have this card into a short now? It gets destroyed, right? When it Changes the round. There we go. Okay, cool. Short. Okay, a goat kind of card. Okay, clear skies and... What is this? Add one strength to this unit for each non-gold unit in your graveyard. Once again, this Kaliga deck is just all about the graveyard. Admitting it. Just out there. Not right. Admitting that I have no idea. There is a train of thought to play this Kaliga. I can see it here. With the graveyard. I just didn't quite figure it out yet. 
That's a good card to play, actually. If you play that one, I'll play the same. Um, I'm gonna be able to get one of these. Okay. Yeah, I might want to discard the clear skies. God won't be pleased. Uh, if I get that card, that is. Oh, it's randomized. Okay, this card needs to come from the graveyard. The question is, how do you put it there? You need to play it so that the other guy destroys it, I suppose. Okay, we have a good hand over here. Let's just see how things go. Hold up a second. Okay, so this card returns to your hand when you lose a round, not when you win it. That's why Siri end up in my graveyard. Let's just play this one. I think it's a huge waste to play these two cards because they can get much stronger if they played from the graveyard. I just need to figure out a strategy to bring them from the graveyard. Alright, so... Okay, this is gonna be good, I think. If I can manage to pull this off. Let's see, we have 43 points. It's not easy to try and defeat that unless he has something in his hands. I do believe this guy knows how to play Skellige. He should have something to surprise me with. Okay. Now I'll play... Hmm. Mm, yes. Yes, I'll play this one. Hey, listen here. Listen well. 59 points. Nextly, I'll play this one because... Am I gonna get something Bow from the graveyard? Well, this guy has three cards of these ones, I think. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. He has another one, right? Yeah, Modern this guy has three Freyr cards patient, of this. What the... But she brooks no insult. At this point, he's really not a strategy because... He didn't build his deck. I can do the same thing, but... Hold up, it needs to be bronze, right? Yes. And I only have one bronze card, and I cannot bring it because it's a Scorch. I don't think it will play with weather, so let's play this one. And delay the round. For me, that is. I just want him to see if he's gonna destroy any of my cards. And I'll bring it back with these two girls. Okay. I can see him doing his work now. On the last stages of the round. Let's see, there's no reason for me now to turn back. Yeah! These three cards depend immensely on the cards that you have in the graveyard. And right now I don't have good cards in my graveyard. Wow, he has two of those already. I really, really wished you would just kill some of my cards. I know this is surprising to hear, but Bow before there's nothing I can Freya. pull out from my graveyard, which is stupid. I never had anything dead in my graveyard. Listen here, listen well. Wow. I was there, he played good. I was there. I'll give him that. He played good. I mean... Maybe I should have kept these two on my hands, yeah. Because I could use them in the next round, even though I believe I'm not gonna pull the win on the next round. Let's see what happens. But I should definitely have kept that girl on my hands. So that I could now revive- well, I can still revive two of them. Hold up. I mean, I'll revive the girl. So, I'll revive the girl, and the girl will revive one of these? Oh, hold up, this will bring four more points, so that's ten in total. Yes, let's do that. Glory to you. What's that? Adds two strength to all known gold units to your graveyard. Okay, is pulling some crap. I'll play this for now. 
Let him go. We'll greet him, we will. But fire and iron. He has three cars. I have one, so my chances are scarce. Oh god, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, we my last chance to win. And mother and crone. So I'm gonna do this. Modern Freire is patient. And now I'll pull but she brooks no insult. this one. Nothing like some overseas plunder. <laughs> He's spring. obviously gonna get more points now than me. I kinda now know how Skellige works. You have to play a lot with your graveyard. And I guess my opponent did a really good job at not killing any of my cards. Or maybe I did a bad job at trying to kill my own cards. So that I could then pull them off from the graveyard. Truth is, this guy clearly knows how to play Skellige. And I didn't. And he's doing a better job at it than me. Um, he's gonna get this round, he's gonna get the win, I don't even know why hey, is he still Mr. playing, Gear. he could just pass and get Listen the win. Well. But hey, that's his own choice. Wow, it's gonna be against I the Skellige play. again. Which, uh, it's a pain in the butt. I hope it's not the same guy, I don't, actually don't, didn't memorize the name of the guy. Okay, once again, play something from your graveyard. Um, gonna remove this one. Okay. I think it's essential to have creatures that can pull off great stunts from the graveyard over here. So, let's see. I have a lot of non gold units, so yeah. Do I want to do this? Because this guy can kill my own cards, which will send them to the graveyard. But you don't want to send your own units to the graveyard. You want the opponent to do that. So let's do this. Oh, come on. These boats don't have an ability. I want them to have an ability. I'm relying on that. I honestly hope this guy is not the one I played against before. Because he's going to wreck me again. If he is. Alright. We'll start by doing this. Let's focus on our graveyard. You stand before the Queen of Skellige. Okay. He's just draw two cards and he's gonna discard two of them. Should I do that as well? Okay. Ooh. Okay, hold up. We can do this. He is here. And pick up Oh god dang it. I wanted actually the other one. But this is not bad either. Okay. I keep checking the graveyards because I gotta play with the graveyards as much as I can. Okay, is getting ahead of me. Let's do that. My God. I feel though, if I can be honest with you, that Skalga doesn't seem to be the deck for me personally to play with. Don't make me love. But I might need some more training with it. Alright, this guy's gonna keep this card if he loses. We want him to lose, but we don't want him to keep that card. But we can have both worlds. I think I'm gonna let him win this one. Let's see how this goes. This might be very, very, very stupid. But I'm trying this out. I want him to lose the Siri card. And he also already played some really important cards. Like these two. Okay, he's now gonna have the cow in Super Saiyan mode. Okay. Now... Let's see. Let's check his graveyard. Okay. Actually, he only has one non-bronze card. We want this card. But we cannot get it now. Let's just do this for now. Listen well. We gotta play something. Maybe I should have used my ability first and then play that.
Okay, and that guy is gone. So I have two bronze units there now. If I discard cards, will they end up on the graveyard? That's a very good question. And I'm not exactly sure we if that's true or not, so I'm gonna way. give it a go and test it out. Okay, so I'm gonna discard this one and this one. Yes! They do go for the graveyard. And that's excellent. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Oh man, he's pulling the same move that I was gonna do right now. Okay, so... I have a lot of bronze cards in my graveyard. Which should be a good time for this guy to come in. Maybe it will be better later on, because you have more cards in your graveyard, but... That's not getting the way of my axe. Okay. Let's play. I want to use this guy for a silver card, like this one. So for now, this is enough to get the win. We'll follow you always! Under if he quits, fire. that is. Don't think he will do it though. Okay, he's pulling off the same cards. So right now I'll do. We serve her who is virgin, this. mother, and crone. Let's not get in the way of me axe. Okay, I'm getting ahead of him. Let's see if he plays out. He has to play very carefully because I have more cards than him. He's winning by one point. Well, that's good for him, obviously. So I think this is going to kill the game for him, the round. Don't you pester me. If he plays again now, he's going to have to win the round or he loses. He's going to go in. Oh, shoot. Okay. That was not good, but it's not terrible either. Uh, I can just bring it back. We serve her who is virgin, mother and crone. The guy I played against Nothing in the previous match also did spread. this tactic. He had three of these cards, which was excellent for him. Wow, he's giving it all on this round. He still has his ability. If I play this one, I won't be able to then resurrect more cards in the next round. And I feel I need this. Let's go ahead and use this one. I wanted to save it for a moment where I would use it for a silver card, but hey. Let's not get in the way of me axe. Let's see, he's probably gonna use his ability at some point. Where the heck do they get these cards, man? I played with the Skellig guy before, and he also had two of these cards. That's unreal. Screw it. Bow before I'll have to do this. I feel somewhat it's a mistake, but hey. Um, you're gonna play it over here. Hey, listen here. Listen well. He's gonna play his ability, any? He? Yes, he is. Holy crap! Hard game, man. Hard game. The thing is, the winner of this match will be decided by purely luck. Because we're gonna both run out of cards. And then we'll just be playing with the cards that are given to us. Well, okay. I don't think I ever had a situation like this. Hey, listen here. Listen well. And this is the max points I ever had in Gwent, the Witcher card game. This is gonna be purely luck. Whoever gets the better card wins. Wow. Wow. I never had a situation like this. Yield and save me some time. If he gets a 10 points card, he wins. That's really not fair at all. This is the very first time in all my episodes previously from Gwent where we lose both matches, but Skellige 
does require some more knowledge to be played well. My first match was really lack of knowledge from me. So ladies and gentlemen, this was most likely my last video on going to the Witcher card game for now until the closed beta because killing kill the servers or killing the servers event is about to finish today. Hope you have enjoyed these couple episodes that I've released on Gwent. My name has been D Sparrow's Journey. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye.